Hey everyone, we're back at it again with another FTC video. My name is Arvin and I'm from FTC Team 5795 back to the drawing board. In today's video, I'm going to give y'all a brief tutorial on how to CAD a battery holder for an FTC robot using the Tetrix FTC legal battery. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to check out our other content ranging from DIY crafts to team meeting vlogs. Let's begin. To start off the process, we must first create a sketch at the bottom of the Tetrix battery, like so. From there, we must draw a rectangle and leave a little bit of wiggle room for our battery, like so. The next step in the process is to click on the newly formed rectangle and extrude it to about a fifth of an inch. You may increase this value to increase the durability of your battery holder. Next, we're gonna click the top face of the platform and once again, click Create Sketch. From there, we're going to draw off the thin walls which will secure our battery so that it won't fall off a robot during a match like so. The final step in this process is to extrude all of the newly formed faces, like so. Make sure to check out our other FTC Fusion 360 tutorials on how to perform these steps in more detail. I'm going to extrude the walls so that it's just below the wires as we need room to plug in into our control hub or expansion hub. And just like that, we created a battery holder for our FTC robot. An optional thing you can do is you can click on the side faces Click sketch and once again draw off a little tab and create different hole patterns to mount it on channel or any other structural support. And yeah, that concludes our video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and make sure to check out our other content on our channel. Last but not least, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more future content.